What's up, people? <laughs> if you find yourself wanting more money, more abundance, more wealth, more freedom, you are in the right place. Especially if you're stuck and you can't figure out why you can't obtain this financial abundance. And I feel like a lot of times that's the most frustrating part. So that's what we're gonna do in this video is figure out why and get to the root of it. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more loving and fulfilling and beautiful life through self-mastery and spirituality. And today I speak abundance and finance and love upon you. <laughs> said many times on this channel I want to be a place where you can go and get practical ways to improve your life and become your best self so today in this video it's gonna be a little different than what we normally do but I think it's going to be super beneficial for you to bring in that financial abundance that you're looking for so first I want to talk about money blocks what are they I want you to think of these blocks as these internal super embedded beliefs that we have about anything but obviously today we're going to we're going to focus on money and finances that were a little bit created by the people that you grew up with the people that you surround with and of course society itself because the thing is is a lot of us have relatively the same types of money blocks and this combined with your own personal experiences throughout your life can be very detrimental to what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to bring into our life as far as money and financial abundance. How many times can I say abundance? <laughs> now we can all sit here and say, we wanna be wealthy, we wanna be rich, we wanna be financially free, but it's going to be quite difficult to do that if we don't understand what our blocks are because once we figure out exactly what those blocks are we can change them and the thing is is most people don't know how to uncover those blocks and figure out what exactly they are where they stemmed from where they came from so they can't change it and so that's what we're going to do today also, I was kind of thinking about potentially making this a little mini series. So let me know in the comments below if you do want multiple videos on how to change your money mindset. So the first thing we need to do is examine and uncover our thoughts and emotions around money. So what I'm going to do is actually give you some journal prompts that will do just that and that will help you look at your relationship with money so for this exercise i recommend either getting a journal out and writing down your answers writing your answers in the comments or getting out your phone or whatever and actually speaking into the phone and recording your answers and the reason that that might be a good route to go with this type of exercise is because we can obviously speak a lot quicker than we can write so more things will come out that you might not even be aware of if you're speaking it and if you want more information on journaling you can check out this video right here all right so here we go get your journal ready get your camera ready get your little fingers typing on the comments ready and what i want you to do is just either pause the video and write down your answers in whatever method that you choose or just write them down to fill them out later and i just want to remind you okay there are no right or wrong answers okay you just want to let whatever needs to come out to come out if a thought comes up that doesn't necessarily make sense to the question write it down anyway there's a reason it came up i promise <laughs> all right so one how do you feel when you either look at your bank account or when you spend money two how do you feel when you see other people spending money whether it's on luxurious things or going on vacation or maybe doing something or spending money on something that you might not feel that you're able to spend money on. Now 
Number three, how do you feel when other people spend money on you? That could be anything. It could be a little gift. It could be paying for lunch. It could be paying for an Uber, anything. How does that make you feel? Do you feel guilty about it? Do you fight to say, no, 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 let me cover it? Figure out in one of those scenarios how you genuinely feel when someone else wants to pay for you. All right, number four, and be honest with yourself on this one, okay? How do you really feel about wealthy people? Now we're gonna take it back to childhood. So number five, how was money viewed in the household that you grew up in? Were you told no multiple times? Were you told, oh, money doesn't grow on trees? Were you told we can't afford that? Anything along those lines. How was the money viewed in the household you grew up in? And then to kind of piggyback off of that, number six, do you feel the same about money as your parents or your caregivers do or did? We've got three more. Number seven, do you think that it's difficult to make money? Number eight, how many hours do you believe that you need to work per day to make the amount of money that you want? Or do you think that's impossible? All right, and lastly, number nine. What are your daily thoughts about money? That's as general as it can get. Think about, and maybe go through the day today, or if you're watching this at night, go through your day tomorrow. And just every time money comes up, write down whatever your thoughts are, okay? Bring that awareness in because you can't change something if you're not aware of it. And that is the point of this whole exercise. So what are your daily thoughts about money? Let me know what comes up for you guys, you know, for some of these answers, because when I did this, I was pretty blown away and I was like, wow, <laughs> I feel very negative about money. And if you feel negative about something, you're repelling it. Okay. If you don't like something, if you feel negative towards something, why would it come to you? All right, so like I said before, if you want me to make this a series, whether you wanna do more journal prompts or if you want me to go deeper into the money mindset and what the next step would be, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys really uncovered some deep insights for your psyche and how you feel about money so that you can really turn that around and start to work on that money mindset and start to kind of get rid of those blocks and replace them with positive thinking and positive ways of feeling about money. I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. You do have the ability to be financially free, to be abundant, but you just have to work through these triggers and subconscious beliefs and blocks to be able to do so. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.